Look at my shot behind me, it looks great. Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, uh, taking questions from tested patrons, specifically on the subject of Mythbusters and answering them in this forum here in my shop. Uh, today's question comes from KTSN, Iron Man Gaming. Iron Man Gaming wants to know, if you could say anything to the people who watched Mythbusters as kids, what would it be? <laughs> I, I apologize if you burned down anything that you or your family really cared about. Hopefully that never happened to anyone, but if it did, we're sorry. <laughs> What's funny when I talk to Mythbuster fans is there seems to be this split. About 80% of fans realize that we worked really hard to do things in the safest way possible while still like having some fun and, you know, raising the stakes. About 20% of the people thought that we were total daredevil adrenaline junkies. And that is completely not the truth. I know you could make a list of things that I did over 13 years of my tenure on the show, and they would look like the list of somebody who was an adrenaline junkie. But man, I I'll tell you, <clears throat> there's nothing more adrenaline inducing than falling or jumping, but falling through the air. That, that, that'll like the one time I skydived, skydove, skydive. The one time I tried skydiving, um, was the only time I have ever had all of my adrenaline just dumped into my system like a like a halo on, like the Terminator 2, like everywhere. All of the adrenaline all at once. And I know that that is an intoxicating experience for a lot of people. I watch the wingsuit videos, those Russian kids that run along the tops of buildings. I, I get that some people chase that high, but not me, man. I, that, I get physically ill from it. And the, 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 the story we did about falling, jumping into a dumpster, that it always seems like a safe thing to do in the movies. Uh, we got trained by stuntman Randy Lamb in jumping off a 20-foot rooftop into a, a, a bag, an airbag. And it gets, it's worse every single time. You stand there at the edge, looking at your feet, and you know that all you've got to do is do that and you'll fall 20 feet. It's like, feet, go do it. And it's the most amazing feeling where your body's like, yeah, no. <laughs> you Literally, you have this physical sensation of resistance. Uh, if you've ever bungee jumped twice in a day, you know exactly what I mean because bungee jumping gets worse every single time. Wow, oh my God, that bobbing for apples, bobbing, uh, bungee jumping for apples, man. Um, we did that from a hundred foot, hundred foot above a pool, above the, uh, was it that public pool in Oakland we did that at? It might've been, um, hundred feet above a pool in a gondola. And I laughed in two jumps and I literally couldn't do another one. And I remember on the second jump, I got out, I, I did the first jump, went fine. Got out, did a piece of camera, uh, got rigged up again, went back up in the gondola, got up to the second, and we're like, okay, uh, Adam was okay. Walkie talkie squeaks, Adam go do the jump. So I get to the edge and the guy, we, the, the bungee jumping expert, I think it was one of the dudes that invented bungee jumping was there. And his job was to hold on to the back of my uh, harness and hang me out over the abyss and then let me go. And this was so that I imparted no bias to my fall and the falls were all consistent. But I get out there, I put my feet over the edge of the gondola and I turn to him and I go, whoa, this feels way worse than last time. And he went, yep, every time it's worse than the last. And I was like, seriously? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna need a minute. And he goes, every second you take will make it worse. And I was like, what? Okay, let's do this. And we did it and I like, that was it. I couldn't do another one. Jamie, to his great credit, lasted for six jumps. Was it eight? It was either six jumps or it was eight jumps. But at the end of those jumps, he said something that I had never heard Jamie say before, which was, can we be done now? <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's another thing I would like to tell people who grew up watching Mythbusters. We are not action hero, adrenaline junkies. None of us, 
I'm the Carrie, Tori, Grant, Jamie, I, Scotty, Jesse, everybody, nobody. None of us were, 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 uh, none of us courted danger in any kind of reckless way. That's really the specific thing I want to say. Um, but if you did, inspired by us, and your parents had to deal with the aftermath, will you tell your parents that I apologize? <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love these questions. Uh, tested patrons, keep submitting them, and I'll keep answering them in this forum, and I'll see you guys next time.